So good to see you all. So I guess we'll get started. I know we're a little early, but that's never a bad thing. Um, I'll kick us off by saying that in 2020, we really had this hunch that creating a space for users to share their work in the form of templates could be useful for others to jumpstart their ideation and their board building process. And in just three short years, that hunch has become today's vibrant community of creators who source and provide inspiration for one another all over the world. Miraverse had pretty humble beginnings with just a handful of Miraneers working on its first prototype who launched the first 50 Miraverse templates in just three months. And here we are in 2023, over a thousand creators and more than 2000 templates supported by our fabulous product development team. And as mentioned earlier, a few of them are here with me today to reflect on the journey that is Miraverse and how it's helped us work smarter, work harder, work happy. So again, please join me in welcoming the Mirrorverse product development team, my teammates, Vera and Janani, as well as our product marketing manager, Kristen. It's so great to have you all here. Hello. So, hi, let's jump right into it. Um, first of all, congratulations on this really exciting milestone, three years. Um, Kristen, I'm wondering maybe, can you kick us off by sharing the most significant impact that you believe Mirrorverse has had for its users? For sure. Um, so I've been lucky enough to be part of Miraverse from its very beginning. It's like my baby in that sense. It's been crazy to see it's take its first steps and, and now it's running full speed. So we've grown from 50 creators where I knew everyone by name and still talk to a few on LinkedIn um, to now over a thousand creators. Uh, it's impacting hundreds of thousands of people who come to Miraverse for fresh ideas and ways to learn by doing um, and it goes beyond just teaching people how to use mirror so often mirrorverse templates do a lot of things so they help people tackle new tasks they can kick off projects create excitement and keep teams kind of engaged uh, all by providing fresh perspectives on things that they're already doing every day and also the obvious one there which is saving precious time because you don't have to start from scratch and uh, the templates our creators share not only unblock work, but also sometimes make that work a little bit more happy. Uh, so to answer your question, uh, this for me is the main impact. So through Miraverse, you're adding an extra thousand creative minds to help you with your work anytime you're doing something. And we wouldn't be here celebrating this milestone without our community of creators. So a big thank you. Uh, to the creators who continue to support Miro and share their work with us, uh, your creativity is, and openness, it, it knows no limits. Um, so thank you so much. I'm going to add a little last thing. <laughs> the last thing I'll say uh, before I hand you back the mic is that the beautiful thing about Miroverse is that you don't have to be an expert in Miro to, to get your templates published. Most templates are built by people who have uh, made something for themselves and that they find helpful and they've published it because they figure others could find it helpful too. So I encourage everyone to be bold. Uh, finding fresh ideas are among many of the reasons why people continue to turn to Miraverse and come back to it every day. Uh, they're seeking these recipes for success and have a willingness to learn from anyone who is bold enough to share a behind the scenes look at what they're working on. I so. love that. Um... One thing you mentioned that really stood out to me is that, you know, the idea that mirror proficiency is not necessarily a prerequisite for becoming a creator. So can you explain what it actually takes to become a creator and what qualifies as a great template and what qualities are needed to ultimately make a great template too? I, I would love to take that one. Hey, everyone. Um, like, just like Christian was saying, you know, we're this is for inspiration, yeah, where our community shares how they use Miro, the amazing work they do in Miro. It's our happy place. And it's got such a special place in our heart, not just for the team building it and, and working on it, but like for most of Miro, for many of us Miro neighbors. And, and this is our dream, that it's a place where anyone can come, express themselves and share their creations with the world. So if you really look at, you know, how Miro is used in so many different ways by 
so many different people from different functions, roles in their teams. We feel like each one is can be is a creator and we want this space to be for all of you. So we are not creative judges. We are only here to connect all you talented individuals in your work. And I think the only guidance we give is um, in um, adhering to some basic publishing guidelines, which make sure that the content is um, easy to understand and people can actually either use it or learn from it. And, and that's it, it's kind of ready to be shared. Um, so what I'm trying to say is each one of you, any of us can be a creator. It's, uh, it's really that simple um, and it is so inspiring, um, yeah. I agree with Janani. I'm also just going to add a little extra bit, but uh, Miraverse not only create, connects kind of creators with those interested in their work, but it also facilitates connections among creators themselves. So we recently published an uh, article on the Mira blog that features stories from Miraverse creators and, and how they collected um, their, well, collective energy <laughs> uh, to develop new templates, workshops, and ideas through co-creating with each other. And it's inspiring to see how our most active community members empower each other to create these new things and infuse joy and inspiration and happiness into their work. So I think there's a link to the blog post on the companion board for this event uh, for anyone who's interested in taking a look. It's uh, somewhere in the top left. Yep, that's right. Um, it's called Harnessing the Collective Creativity of Community to Work Happy. Um, definitely check that out. Um, thank you so much, Kristen and Johnny. I, I agree with everything you said. Um, so many good examples of the infinite power of this creator community. And I'm curious if you could tell us about maybe a time or in a situation that was, or, or just really about the most challenging or exciting feature that you've built over the last year and how it shapes your vision for the future of Miroverse. So um, the TLDRs, what's on the horizon for Miroverse that you can share with us? Maybe Barry, you can take that one. Oh, I'd love that. So yeah, the past year has been a wild ride for Miraverse. We managed to hit some mind-blowing milestones, including welcoming 1,000 incredible creators and offering a whopping 2,000 templates. So yeah, Miraverse have grown and evolved. And so every, every time we're thinking about roadmap, we're thinking, how can we fuel this growth? How can we bring fresh experiences to ever-expanding community? Talking about features, here's something caught me off guard. When, when we're thinking about Miraverse, connection is just the name of a game. But when I was thinking, what is the best thing we built last year? What we're so proud of? I learned that actually we're most thrilled about things that are also about connection. But maybe this time about connection between Mirror and Mirrorverse. Last summer, uh, we launched a feature which brought Mirrorverse to the dashboard of every Mirror, Mirror desktop app or browser app. And this little change had a massive impact, doubling the amount of users who learned about Miraverse, started using this and engaging with the content, publishing their templates and getting value from it. And looking ahead, uh, we have something truly special in the works that we're bursting to share with you. Uh, it's called Feedback Loop. This is a set of features that empowers users to leave comments, write templates, and share their experiences. It's all about building this connection between users and creators applauding the best incredible templates we have and getting more insights into them. So exciting times are coming for Miraverse. Stay tuned to see what more is coming. Awesome. Um, thank you, Vera. Um, I'm curious, Janani, maybe you could take this one. How do you foresee the creator landscape really changing with the emergence of new tech? Oh, this is this is a really interesting one. We, we are actually living in such an interesting time, right, with how the technology landscape is moving. I mean, creating things, the creator economy, et cetera, has been there for a while, but it used to need a lot of specialized tools, very specific creative skills. But I feel like now things are just getting easier and easier. The barrier to entry to, you know, becoming a creator, sharing what you know, is sort of melting away. And if you think about it, like all of us, right, most of us in our work on a day to day with our teams in, as individuals, we're creating something. Uh, it could be uh, art and music, but it could also be processes and workshops and team meetings. And all of it is just creation. And what is interesting about today it's it's becoming super easy to package this knowledge this work that we are doing and kind of sh sharing it with the rest of the world and 
it's kind of enabling each one of us to become creators, whether it is, you know, your new open AI chat GPT work or these really new design tools that are coming out, which are making it so easy. You don't need to be a designer. You don't need to be a creative person to be a creator. Uh, it kind of um, is making it easy for like all of us. And what I also think is, let's think if all of us can be creators, probably with the influx of a lot of creators, it might get harder to stand out, but also think about the number of platforms that are kind of opening up where we can collaborate with other people. We are you know, able to share our thoughts. We are able to share content, share work. And yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it, there's just so much promise in that. And look at Miroverse. I was talking to one of our users, uh, you know, two, three weeks ago, and they were saying it's one of the very unique places where they can actually find you know, inspiration or skills around facilitation or about, you know, doing complex collaborative workshops, which they haven't been able to find anywhere else. So this is just one element of it. Imagine so many platforms opening up. I think the uh, this is just going to be this, it's going to usher in a new era, I think, for, uh, for creators, for content and this whole space. So it's exciting. It's very exciting. It's so exciting. Um... I wonder if we want to hop over to the chat and see if we've got any questions there. Again, there are no bad questions. Um, the one I'm seeing right now is just a, a great simple question. How do you import Word and Excel docs onto a board? Are you able to use Word within Miro? Kristen, I feel like this one sure. has your name all over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, the product marketing manager, not just for Miro, but also for uh, our core Canvas team. So the this is one super, super easy. If you kind of grab the link, from your, your file, whatever it is, whether it's in, and you can drop that straight on the board and you'll be able to load it there and edit it from the board as well. So there's a, a good integration there or connection. Awesome, thank you. Um, another one um, I'm interested in us talking through is, is there a 10 year master plan that, that we can share with the community about Mirrorverse? Vera, I feel like you might have a few little hidden gems you could share with us. I wouldn't say it's 10 year master plan, and uh, but we're definitely thinking at the moment, what is Mirrorverse 2.0 is, what experiences it includes, what types of content we provide and where we want to be with that because we're really happy the way Mirrorverse turns out, but we also feel like what is next for us? And this is like the speed that we grow kind of fuels this desire to be become even bigger. Uh, yeah, we don't share anything yet, but maybe we drop some hints here and there. So just be very attentive. And yeah, I think at the moment we're working on the plan for the next approximately like three, five years. So yeah, I think uh, something's gonna come up soon, but I'm not sure we're gonna share it openly with everyone. So like competitors don't spy on us too much. <laughs> nope, that makes total sense. Well, thanks for, for giving us, you know, a little taste. Um, this has been so wonderful and an illuminating discussion. And I really wanna thank you, Vera and Janani and Kristen. I know we could go on talking forever. Um, but we have so many exciting sessions to get to. Um, thank you for joining this community event today. You know our community means everything to us. Thank you for sharing your insights and your experiences behind the scenes. The truth is that your expertise has brought this amazing platform to life for millions of people and has really empowered this thriving community of creators and collaborators to come together and build really big things, including this event. So, um, if, with, if there's anything else you want to add, you are more than welcome before I leave. This is your chance. Vera, Janani, Kristen, any parting thoughts? I'd love to I see the templates. Them. Send them in. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'd love to see any new templates. Send them in. We're, always, uh, we're checking. So I, become a creator. <laughs> I agree. I'm excited about new templates. And just to answer, a few people are asking if this webinar is going to be recorded. The entire thing will be recorded. It will be available um, on demand to you following the event conclusion. So definitely we'll have that. Um, thank you all again so much. Um, with that said, we're ready for our next session um, brought to you by two of our absolutely brilliant Miroverse creators, Nina and Indra, on the power of using Miro to improve team dynamics. So. Um, we hope you enjoy. Thank you all so much.